What's going on guys? Carlos here with Back Row Garage and today we have an interesting one for you. I have no idea what we're going to do with this and if it's even going to be working by the end of this day. But here we have a 2006 235, the rev up and this is my buddy Brendan and he has a brand new head unit, pretty much Apple CarPlay and everything along with the dash kit, along with all the wiring that we should need. For this so this is basically a plug and play unit it is a universal unit so it will take some adjustment but we're not going to record everything but i just wanted to take you guys along with the ride obviously the first step is to take apart the entire uh center console right here up top and probably towards the middle to get to all the wiring and then take everything out and then mess with the wires and kind of start putting everything back in so we'll update you guys with many steps along the way but uh yeah it's gonna be fun so first things first guys, it's gonna be shift knob removal, remove the boot, remove this whole assembly right here, which is just clips, you just pull on it a little bit. Up top, you're gonna have a little leather piece going across, you just pull on it towards me and it will kick out. And then you just go with a flathead or any type of tool releaser that you have, we don't have that, so we're just going with a flathead and just pull up the clips. Everything for the most part is with clips, so there's not really a right or a wrong way to do it, but you just gotta do it slow and take time. got the entire center console along with the radio out basically what it looks like if i turn this around once you get the head unit out you can see a little bit better but it's two uh screws up top one here and one here which go to this hole and that hole once you remove that the whole radio is good to come out and then you just have the normal wires that are in the back uh just clipped in just unclip everything and it will come completely free there's that and this but basically now it's just take your time with the wires so what brendan bought here obviously it's the radio it's the dash kit and then it's a separate module that actually hooks up directly to his car so the ones that came with the the radio itself is this one and the one in his right hand so this one and it's pretty much just color color connecting so the what the black and white goes to the black and white on that one and so on and so forth take your time there is directions with it and there's also directions on the nissan or infinity module as well so just take your time go color to color don't uh, actually solder them together just bend them like that together and, and then test it and then go from there we'll let you guys know once we're done wiring everything up we got everything situated it's about two hours later we uh ran into a little hiccup i'll let you guys know but real quick just for copywriting issues i'm just gonna play this for a second so it works so basically what it is it's right now it doesn't look good at all but we're gonna go back and just actually like crimp them down correctly but basic thing like i've been saying before the, the this is the adapter kit color to color so purple to purple green to green green to black i mean green and black to green and black and so on and so forth um the only problem that we ran into which if you guys run into this problem be aware it is okay to do it like this so this car has bows so the two options that you have is one do what we did which i'll tell you or two get a bose harness which is more money and 100 percent not necessary and right now the speakers sound way better than they did before doing this method so the blues is what controls the amps and the blue and white is the amp on so in the beginning when we did this we didn't have sound and we only had these two blues connected we had the blue and white not connected at all so what we noticed is where we had no sound everything else was working 100 percent perfectly so we talked to some people and we were kind of scared to do it because we didn't know if we could but they told us to just run that blue and white which is the amp on wire and run it through the blue so instead of crimping the two the blue and blue you're crimping all three so it's the blue and white with the two blues. And then everything else is plug and play. Obviously this is bunk, do it correctly. But this is just for now, we'll show you the finished product. And then everything else now is plug and play. So if you, you can do Apple CarPlay, Bluetooth, USB, 
um, GPS, anything like that. You can call people, you have a microphone here. You run it right to the back of the radio and then you kind of just have to finagle it through the plastics and, and put it wherever you want. So I'm not gonna update you guys again. I'll, um, once we're completely done, we'll show you the finished product and how everything is. But remember, like I said, if you have a problem with sound like we did, do the blues and the blue and white, not just the blues. After a couple hours of just, you know, messing around and also just making sure we're doing everything right. And with the infinity not starting, we're here now. And the reason that we took a little bit is because the G35 didn't want to start because we've been messing with the car all day. But uh, everything works and we can kind of talk to you guys about that once we get in the car. But what Brendan is doing now is heat shrinking the wires together instead of uh, crimping them like we did before. So the option that you have is either the heat shrink, which is this. All you do is you put a wire on each side of the tube and then you heat it up and they stick together. Or your second option are splicers. So basically if I pull one out, I'll show you. You put one wire on each side and then with a pair of pliers or something, you just push down and it squeezes them together. We chose to do the heat shrink only because these splicers don't fit those wires. Besides that, the only other thing that you have to do, which Brendan already did, was the stock radio. So you have to take all of them off with these screws and then pretty much set up the new screen with that dash kit. So I'll show you guys. So basically, then you're going to put the radio in here, mount it up and connect everything. So this ended up working. We will talk to you guys about that once the radio is back all set and done getting heat shrinked. But yeah, we're about done. About another probably 10, 15 minutes and we'll be good to go. Just to show you real quick, that's the screen on the new uh, board of it itself. You put it on, you have four screws, one there, one on the bottom, one on the bottom right, and one on the top right. And then now it's just plug and play. Once you uh, put everything together, like I said, we did the heat shrink, so there you go. And we did the ground, which is right here. So we grounded it with a prong. And that's how we're gonna do it to the bolt. And now it's just plug and play and we'll let you guys know once we're done and it will be all set and ready to go. Okay guys, it's all set and ready to go. We're not gonna turn it on right now because the car is literally dead, but everything worked out perfect and it was just plug and play backwards like from the beginning. And it looks really good, as you guys can see. So we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.